to um, do a review on this hair food coconut it's a hair mask it is actually three in one today I'm going to use it as a conditioner so you just leave it in for three minutes but I like to leave it in a bit longer than that so you can see my hair is okay it's a bit fuzzy at the moment hang on fuzzy but um i'm gonna be washing my hair now and you'll be able to see the difference let me know what you think i usually do use the shampoo i uh conditioner should i say the conditioner this condition is really good i've been using it for ages um i also like i've currently i've just been using this um banana one that I'm new to using that one, but I really like in that one as well. But I'm going to do the coconut one today, and I hope you enjoy and um, just give you some tips what I do basically. So this in the bath, and um, see how it goes. I'm going to wash my hair and put um, actually this shampoo in. It's just a normal shampoo. Right there, and um, then I'm gonna put the condition, wash it out, put the conditioner in, but leave it in for about seven minutes. Basically. Hit three hand scoops in my hair, and that was enough. Sometimes, if your hair's thicker, if your hair's a lot thicker, I would say four scoops. What I do when my hair is wet, I brush it, and then I comb it when it's wet in the bath. So that basically just spreads it everywhere, so it's getting everywhere. And then I leave it into about, before I do that, I just leave it into about three minutes. And then I leave it for another like seven minutes. Even though it says three minutes, I think it works a bit better when you leave it in a lot bit longer. Especially if you've got thick hair. My daughter has a lot curlier, really tight, frizzy, curly hair appear to mine. So I usually, uh, in her hair, I put about six to nine um, scoops as her hair is so thick. So tip number one, leave the conditioner in when you're in the bath and comb and brush it, brush and comb it. So all the conditioner goes in every little part. So the conditioner is equal in every part of your hair. So if you've got a knot somewhere, and you, and you washed it out it won't work as well so you're getting the knots out and everything when you're in the bath when it's soaking wet it's still in my hair it's been in about seven minutes maybe a slightly longer now it's seven to ten minutes so i'm going to leave it for one or two more minutes and then take it out and wash it out and that's basically I guess it it's even it's out so it's much better so I've washed out my hair and it looks a bit better now I brushed it before I washed it out. As you can see my hair is a lot better as when it was when I, before I brushed it. It's like literally no frizz to it. It is beautiful. It's got the beautiful curls. This is more stylish. But it does work a lot better if you when you um, brush it when it's in the bath or when when you're out of the bath, sort of thing. Really, really nice. As you can see, it is a lot better. I haven't got nothing in it at the moment, but I find it's better when once it's all dry and washed. What I do. What I find is really, really good. You put a little bit on your finger, like how you would with wax or you know gel, whatever you would use to go on your hair, and just put it all through your fingers, basically. It only needs to be like this much, like how much you would use if you were doing wax. You rub it in your fingers. You put it through your hair like this. Even if now it's dry, it would, if there's any sort of little frizz or anything, it just takes it away. I reckon that works really, 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 really well. And it obviously the frizz and that will last. It will be no frizz for longer and stuff like that. 
but yeah I think it worked well well as you can see it is lovely <laughs> so yeah I do like this one it is one of my favorite ones to use the mask I use it just as a normal conditioner all the time because I just find it's better than a normal a normal conditioner so um, <laughs> So yeah, I do like to use this. So yeah, just do that after you dry it. And you can do that through the day. So if you don't want to wash your hair again tomorrow, what I do, put a little bit on my fingers and put it through that. And I always use coconut hair. For my daughter's got really, really, really curly hair. Almost afro curly, really, really tight curls, but not quite. My nan's got afro hair, but hers is in between my nan's and me. Or my, my nans and my dad's sort of hair but uh, I find with her um, she, she she goes to school and people are obviously catching it and that. she's never caught any but the trick is if you use coconut oil you never will because it kills them and um, it obviously is a really bad power so they won't jump in your hair. I'm not saying that it's a hundred percent, but um, my child's never got any, so it's good to put. I put that on every morning before she goes to school, a little bit in, and that has seemed to be do the trick. So um, that she's never caught them, and some people are crawling with them, so <laughs> it's a good thing as well. So if you want your own kids all the time, that it is a good thing to use because you just won't catch them. Um, so my daughter's eight tomorrow. Now to eight tomorrow on Sunday, and uh, yeah, she has never got them, but she's always got letters coming home for like to school, and kids get them. So that is another thing you won't get it if you use coconut oil. It has to be coconut oil, not coconut shampoo. Not like the flavour and the smell. It has to be proper coconut. So I used that on her hair as well. It was um, a coconut um, hair mask. And yeah, she's never had any. I've used different ones over the years. I've been using the coconut one now for a year. It's been out for at least a year now, I think. Um, yeah, before lockdown, last year, last February, I was using it way before then. So maybe even longer than that. So, and it is really, really good. So that's some hints and tricks. <laughs> but I think my hair is, you know, it's like no frizz to it. It's really shiny, glossy, silky sort of field. And it's really good to get in um, dandruff out your hair. When I don't use it, I do get a lot of dandruff, but it is really, really good at getting dandruff out of the hair as well. So, I would give it probably a 10 out of 10. I am liking the, the, the what's it called one now though, um, what's it called? Um, the, <laughs> the, uh, banana one. That is really, that is just a good enough job. Does it? slightly different maybe um but i really like the other one it takes the dryness out of your hair by loads yeah the banana one so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and i hope that helped